Yo, I just saw the Venom movie. I have to say, it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Going in, I expected it to rip this movie apart, and it didn't actually, I didn't have to rip it apart. It's not a bad movie, it's just an average movie. I have a fan theory, and I'll be saying that fan theory at the very end of the video. So, all right, so the Venom movie. Let's talk about it for a second. It stars Tom Harding of both Venom and as Eddie Brock. So you get to see him play both roles. So that was a good point. I really liked him as Eddie Brock. I really liked the banter in the story. I liked the banter between Venom and Eddie Brock. And you know, the first act, the first act, the first act, first act was incredibly long. This movie was two hours and 20 minutes. Two hours and 20 minutes, bro. I heard they cut 40 minutes out. They should have cut like 60. And they wanted to draw out all of Eddie Brock's backstory. It just doesn't work. It just makes the movie like bogs down the movie. The action, some of the action scenes are really good. Three main action scenes. Uh, there's the car chase. And then there's a fight with the squad team. And then there's the final fight between Venom and the main bad guy of the story. Even though the action was good, it's like PG-13 action. Like, when he bites off people's heads, it always cuts away from him biting off people's head. Or nobody really gets hurt. None of the police officers really get hurt or killed. And I don't think anybody, I think like two people died in this movie in the whole entire two hours and 20 minutes. Three people. Three people including the bad guy. So the bad guy gets it at the very end. Let's talk about the bad guy. The bad guy. Oh my gosh, he was so weak, bro. He was like the weakest villain ever. And there was no heart. There was no heart to this movie. I think that's because they rushed the character development. Like Venom just all of a sudden has a change of heart. And Tom Hardy, he doesn't really grow. If you turn your brain off and just enjoy the action, then yeah, it's a mindless action film. You'll enjoy it. But other than that, like there's no heart to it. There's no soul that I can bite into. If you... The, mid credit scene sucks. It's garbage. Like, don't even... Ugh. 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 It has to do with Carnage, but Carnage doesn't look like Carnage. It just... He looks he looks like garbage. He looks like a turd blowing in the wind. That's what he looks like. Basically, Venom is Goku. He's supposed to take over the world, but he had a change of heart. So in this one scene, like, Venom has gets separated from Eddie Brock. They get separated. Psh. To get back to Eddie, Venom has to jump inside of a dog. All right, so my fan theory. My theory, dogs love humans so much that Venom went inside this dog and he felt this dog's love for us. And that's what changed Venom. That's why he changed him. It's like, cause he felt the love of these dogs that they have for us. This is deep. I'm gonna go pet my dog right now. I'm gonna go find him. Raider! Raider!